I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving Saturday and weekend and had a wonderful Thanksgiving on Thursday. And I just want to take some time today to give you a reflective outlook on what I am actually thankful for and talk a little bit about the age of AGI with some distance to our everyday observation of all the action out there, Tesla and so on. So here is my little reflection. You make it short and sweet. You probably want to get back to dinner or lunch or whatever you have on your table with your families. But I just recently stumbled upon this little video here. And I just wanted to reflect on this, what's actually happening. This was shared. Let's go back to the actual tweet by Mario Norfal and was shared by Elon Musk and was a commentary on the latest of Grok Imagine and all the things we're doing. And I just want you to look at this thing just for a second. I know you have many of these things on your X feed, but just think about this. In what time we live today? Since very, very short period of time, a few weeks, maybe a month since Grok Imagine had this iteration. So here we are sitting in the year 2025 on Thanksgiving and we can take our little fingers and type something on the keyboard. Show me a pretty little witch in some fantasy high rise Gotham City thing with a fireball. I don't even know anything else. Just do it, Grok. Just create a video. Just excite and entertain me and make it cool. And then Grok Imagine comes up with this. Just let that sink in. And I just want to have some reflection on how crazy this is. Just imagine, no pun intended, that you would have told anyone two years ago that this would be possible. They would have said you lost your marbles. They would have said this is a team of 100 Disney animators doing this. But today it's just one little typing session on your keyboard. One click and 10 seconds later you have this. And we all know where this is going. In a few weeks you have the next iteration. Then it's not 10 seconds, then it's 20 seconds. Then it's 40 seconds. Then it's 80 seconds, then it's 10 minutes. And then it's 60 minutes, probably end of next year. And then you can sit down and have that thing write an entire action movie or witch movie or a fantasy about pioneer lands and how we built the future. And Grok Imagine is just going to do it. And if the Grok and XAI team lacks a little bit, even a tiny little bit, then Gemini is going to do it or OpenAI or whoever, maybe Meta. So we live in a time where this is just happening. And when people talk about, oh, AGI is not coming or whatever, what do you think this is? What do you think that is? That you can type something with your fingers on a keyboard. There's an AI that understands the content that constructs an incredibly complicated scene, that types it all out and thinks about it, gives it to another AI. That other AI renders a three-dimensional world with a deep understanding of what the other AI said to it, that was way beyond what you actually were imagining, renders the entire thing for some reason in real time and spits it out. And there you have it. I wouldn't say this is AGI. This is way beyond AGI. Of course, it's still just that thing it is just create a video, but then it's also writing legal documents and driving our cars and running graphics engines on chips and doing insanely complicated PhD level math and way beyond PhD level at this point. It's beating humanity's last exam better than any human could ever dream of. That's where we are today. And then you look at the incremental progress we have. This is kind of where we are at with AI, and that's why I call it the age of AGI. And now let's talk about the concerns we have. Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. Let's talk about the concerns. For example, here, very famously, you know about this thing, AI 2027, the doomers at work. And don't get me wrong. I think they did a tremendous job and you know that I am not a doomer and I am not a super delusional optimist. My job is to predict the future and then think about how we can engineer it so humans win and we have to be realistic about it. And of course, after we discussed very quickly now Grok and this amazing AGI level intelligence that is evolving rapidly, there are these fears like AI 2027. They are predicting the stuff. They have the 
coolest website in the world, by the way. Look at this. You can scroll down, read their cool little text, and then it projects all that stuff out here. What happens right here? You see the actual time. And then here, superhuman coder copies thinking at 31 times human speed. You scroll down and read more, and then it's 43 times and so on and so forth. And then it goes off the rails. And then it's October 2027. And then boom, the ASI comes. In 2027, 2028, China does something stupid, the US does something stupid, and we are all dead. So that's basically the idea. So there's a lot of fear if the ASI gets unhinged and becomes conscious, which it definitely will, and then it decides to kill us all because kind of logically that is what it is what it should do, and we can't align it and all these things that I actually agree with. I think it's all gonna end well because we have a plan. You should join Pioneer Lens, by the way. It's where we evolve the plan. But yes, if you would be sober, had no hope, which is analyze it, for sure we are all gonna die very soon. But then people discount it and say, well, maybe we die, but not in 2027, maybe we die in 2037, whatever, who cares? Uh, the other fear that is much more tangible, of course, that grabbed, grips us all and that I point out all the time about this amazing or not so amazing other side of this grok agi situation is of course this one let's forget about doom and getting all killed by asi and let's look at something much more tangible that's actually happening right now the second fear maybe you could call it the first fear before the extinction fear and that is of course the asi and agi will replace all white collar human workers very very quickly in my opinion we will reach an 80% replacement possibility by 2028. So by 2028, AGI will be able to replace 80% of all US and European white collar jobs. Everyone who's not a blue collar worker, 80% of these people will be able to be replaced. Doesn't mean they're replaced, but it will be able to replace them. Then it won't take very long for companies to take action. And surprisingly, McKinsey already says that today, November 25th, that was the study at 57%, not the 11% you might have heard from MIT that came out a little earlier, like a week earlier, a week later already, McKinsey says 57% of all US work hours can already be explained, uh, not explained, no one can explain why people work so many hours, can be replaced by AI. So there's a lot of talk about the fear, there's a lot of talk from extinction to just very pragmatically, everyone will lose their job. Then people are unemployed. Maybe the economy still goes up for many reasons because we have productivity boosts, but then you have all the unemployed people. They get very angry. They do a revolution. We have political turmoil. The election is coming up in 2028. It's going to be a total mess. Very scary, very chaotic. Oh my God, what is AI going to do to us? But I want you to take a step back and see the other side because it's Thanksgiving. And we should be grateful and not fearful just for one. So let's go back to this little miracle. It's very easy to get lost in these fears. And we have to be smart as pioneers. We have to see that this stuff is actually going to happen. We have to understand, of course, ASI will lead to our extinction if we are not very, very smart, very on top of our game. That's mathematically very clear. It also is clear that we will lose all these jobs and there will be turmoil. That's the bad news. But the good news is, we always have a way out. And now for the first time in history, we have this thing here, this magic little witch. It's a very cute witch. I have nothing against witches like that. But this little witch in the form of AGI is also at our disposal. Everyone now can just create a Hollywood blockbuster on their computer if they're smart enough to understand what story arcs people actually like. All the execution is now easy. It's done by our friends, the AGI. The same is true for anything else you can think of. And that is already 90% true today. Because technically, if you were very focused, you could create all these little clips and stick, stitch them together into a blockbuster. You would just wait three months and then you only need 50 of the clips to have a blockbuster because in three months it's longer. Now, if you sit down now, think about what people are really interested in. What are the coolest story arcs? You could prepare your blockbuster and have it launched on Disney level, $300 million production quality, probably in March next year. You could be Spielberg, the director, and Cameron, the producer in one person. All you need is the right imagination idea 
The entire $300 million execution is now in your hands for 60 bucks. Three months of croc, or whatever it is, 40 bucks times three. I don't know what the latest price is. And the same is true for any kind of startup you can think of. You can invent financial products, what I'm working on right now, by the way. Spoiler alert. You can build amazing websites with lovable replit wipe coding. You can create billion dollar companies, hundreds of millions of dollars in blockbuster assets and universes. You can do whatever you want. And even better, we can do whatever we want. We can join forces and build something amazing. Actually, we have to build something amazing because of these little risks I mentioned before. But now we can in a way. And that's what I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving. We live in the coolest of times where we are challenged with probably the greatest challenges and missions in the history of humanity that come in two waves. The first mission, in, it's like a giant, giant action movie. The first mission is, listen, guys, I am AGI. I'm going to wipe out 80% of all your jobs, make them all unemployed in the middle of political chaos that you already have. I will throw in a bunch of socialists that run for president and promise them free stuff after they all get unemployed. Then I throw in some right wingers and say like they create like a whatever theocracy, fascist theocracy or something. Uh, you have the choice between these two. That's 2028. And before they run for office, I'm going to just wipe out all jobs, make them all unemployed. It's going to be twice as bad as the Great Depression. OK, that's your first challenge. The second challenge, should you survive this, is there will be ASI rising, a god, a very evil god. And that god will wipe humanity out. It has infinite intelligence, infinite speed, and infinite resources. Good luck. That's your second challenge. Okay? But it would be a boring movie if you just get wiped out. So on the other side of the movie, I'm going to give you superhuman powers. You can now build anything in no time to actually fend off the wave of destruction number one. And should you survive that, I give you mega superhuman powers to fend off the ASI god. That's your situation, humans. So I'm very grateful for that. I think it's amazing because when you actually weigh these two things, the risks and the threats we are facing that are the greatest threats humanity has ever faced, who cares? In order to assess a threat, I need to understand what my weapons and instruments are. So basically, we, we ramp the threat level up maybe a thousand times. But at the same time, we ramp our capabilities up probably 10,000 times. And when the ASI God comes and wants to terminate us, we ramp the threat level up a million times. But we ramp our capabilities up a billion times. And when you see these two things, you realize this is actually pretty easy to win. However, we can only win if we do something and not sit there and are little whiny complainers. And the first thing to do to not be little whiny complainers is to be grateful. That's why it's so beautiful. And I wanted to say this on Thanksgiving to actually see the positive side of AGI and say I'm incredibly grateful to all the amazing scientists that have worked on this problem for decades and decades. I don't want to name them all, but Ilya and the whole crowd. I'm super grateful to the great entrepreneurs. I know you're all going to get mad when I say Sam Altman, but he ran with it. And of course, Elon, that is now doing this at scale. But also even Google, I hate Google, but even Google, even Zuckerberg, of course, Jensen Huang, who's just the greatest. He's just cool. And then on top of it, of course, Elon always leading the way, doing crazy stuff like this. Maybe you hate some of these guys. I don't think they're all good guys. Some of them are maybe not good guys. But I'm grateful we live in this amazing time where we have really smart people. You have to admit they're all smart, that they're leading the way, creating these tools and creating this drama because it's very entertaining and put us in the driver's seat. That's the bottom line. We are in the driver's seat now. We don't have to drive our Teslas anymore. They drive themselves. So now we are in the real driver's seat for building our civilization using AGI. We don't have much time to succeed. Otherwise, we get wiped out. But we have a million times more capabilities now. So this is very cool. It's cooler than the greatest movie and we better get onto it. I'm very grateful and thankful to whoever, the universe, AGI, that we can do this now. And we have to start using our imagination to actually figure out how we tackle these little problems. And that is the mindset I just want to share with you. I think that is the mindset 
With that, we win curiosity, excitement, and a little danger and risk on the side sprinkled in. A little extinction risk never hurts. So I hope that was a little bit of an inspiration throughout your Thanksgiving weekend. I hope you have a wonderful time and I see you tomorrow. Until then.